Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we will be talking about types of concrete strength. We will be talking about different types of concrete strength in uh, uh, this, uh, different types of concrete strength in detailed form. So, firstly, these are the various types of these are the various types of concrete strength. So, so the uh, so the various types of concrete strength are compressive strength, tensile strength, shear strength, bond strength, impact strength, and fatigue strength. So, firstly, we will be talking about compressive strength. So what is compress compressive strength? Compressive strength is one of the most important property, one of the most important strength and uh, strength the concrete uh, strength the concrete can have, and it is basically defined as the strength of it is defined as the strength of 28 days old concrete specimen. So it is basically defined as the strength of so it is basically defined as the strength of 28 days old concrete specimen and so the compressive strength is calculated or it is tested or it is or uh, it is or it is tested or or we can basically say compressive strength is determined by is determined by testing and for its and for its testing and for its uh, and for its uh, and for its uh, testing we used a machine we used or we used a machine called monotonic uniaxial monotonic uniaxial compressive load monotonic uniaxial compressive load so basically with the help of with the with the help of this device monotonic uniaxial compressive load it is compressive strength of any concrete is experimentally is experimented uh, determined at uh, at 28 at 28 days and in, and in order to test the and in order to test the uh, in order to test the compressive strength uh, strength specimens are concrete specimens are designed and concrete specimens are basically of two types first is of cylindrical specimen first is cylindrical specimen which is 15 which is uh, 15 centimeter in diameter and 30 centimeter in height 30 centimeter in height and next we have is a cube 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 or cubical uh, cubic cube or cubical specimen which are of dimension 15 into 15 into 15 centimeter but they may also be of dimension 10 into 10 into 10 10 centimeter uh, compressive strength is one of the is one of the most important property of any concrete because all the properties of concrete such as such uh, because other properties of, of concrete such as tensile strength and mode loss of elasticity and mode loss of tensile strength and mode loss of elasticity are expressed in terms of are, are expressed in terms of compressive strength both of these uh, both of these strength are expressed in terms of compressive strength and whenever we are the testing when, when we are testing of uh, testing of uh, testing of any concrete specimen in a laboratory three types of failure may occur three types of uh, three types of failure may three types of failure or three cases of failure may uh, three cases of failure may all right so the cases of failure are are shear failure, shear failure, columnar columnar failure, shear failure, columnar failure, or combination of both. Shear failure, columnar failure, or combination of both types of, or combination of, or combination of both types of uh, failure, or combination of both types of failure. The columnar failure is also known as splitting, uh, splitting, uh, splitting failure. And as we talked about cylindrical and cubical specimen, the compressive strength of cylindrical and uh, or cylindrical and cubical expansions are are interrelated as F C cylinder equals to 0 0.85 to 0 0.80. Fc cube, which basically means compressive strength of cylinder of, of cylinder is 85 percent or or up to 80 percent, 85 85 to 80 percent of 85 80 to 85 percent of strength of of compressive strength of cube, which means uh, which means compression strength of cube is much higher than that of uh, is much higher is much higher than that of uh, is much higher than that of cylinder. Next we'll be talking about next we'll be talking about uh, tensile strength. So what is tensile strength? Tensile strength of concrete is much less than that of tensile strength. So the tensile strength of tensile strength of concrete is much less is much less than the is much less than the compressive strength. So basically, what is uh, so? If we had to draw a figure, to to draw a figure to show tensile strength. So if this is all, let's say this is a 
cylindrical specimen cylindrical specimen and if i apply forces which are uh, which pulls the cylindrical cylindrical uh, cylindrical specimen outward cylindrical specimen outward and internal forces are internal forces are generated inside of this specimen internal forces are generated inside the specimen which uh, uh, internal forces are generated uh, internal forces are generated uh, internal forces are generated inside of this specimen which resists uh, which resists this pulling force which, which resists this pulling force and the measurement of this force is known as is known as tensile strength is uh, known as uh, is known as tensile strength uh, and that uh, is known as is known as tensile strength however tensile strength of concrete is much less than the combustive strength this is because of the this, this is because of the fact that uh, cracks this is because of the fact that cracks can propagate easily cracks can propagate or extend easily under tensile loads easily on the tensile can it because of the fact that cracks can easily propagate or uh, cracks can easily propagate or extend or uh, extend easily on the tensile loads so tensile strength of concrete is much less than its compressive strength so the uh, so the so the tensile strength of concrete is basically is is calculated by three methods is is calculated uh, is measured in three ways uh, tensile, tensile strength of concrete is also calculated experimentally it also ca calculated experimentally it can be calculated by direct uh, by direct tension or it can be calculated by splitting tension splitting tension or it can be calculated by the method of flexural tension so what are so what what does all of this mean so first we will be talking about direct tension so what is direct tension and what is direct uh, what is direct tension and how is this calculated so let's say if this is a so let's draw or so let's draw a diagram of a concrete specimen So this is an so this is a diagram of a concrete uh, specimen, and we are applying we are applying forces where we are uh, applying tensile tensile forces so uh, tensile tensile uh, tensile forces so tensile forces and and add the amount or uh, or the amount of and add the amount of force uh, and add the amount of force this concrete specimen fills is is uh, concrete specimen fills is the measure of its uh, is the measure of its tensile strength so basically this is how direct tension is done a concrete specimen is taken and uh, con concrete specimen is uh, taken and it is grabbed or uh, and it is uh, and uh, and it is gra and it is grabbed at both the uh, both the uh, both uh, and it, and it is grabbed at both the uh, both the ends and uh, both the ends and the value is and the and the point and uh, or the number at which the concrete fills is known as is gives the gives the value of its tensile strength but uh, but this method is not used but this method is not used but this method is uh, not used and is is not used or it is rarely used and it is not standardized uh, and it is and it is not and it is not standard not and it is not standardized so 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 we we are talking about why this method is not used and standardized this method is not used and used and uh, standardized because uh, it is not uh, it is not considered a practical test and it is rarely used because of the difficulty or the problem of gripping gripping the specimen satisfactorily while performing this test the specimen cannot be gripped or cannot be gripped uh, cannot be gripped satisfactorily cannot be gripped uh, satisfactor sat sat satisfactorily and there must be no eccentricity there must be no eccentricity there must be no eccentricity of the applied load there must be no eccentricity of, of the applied load which is very hard to achieve and of course the specimen cannot be easily grabbed and pulled it cannot be easily grabbed and pulled therefore this method is rarely used and this is not st standardized at all so so uh, st standardized at all so instead splitting test and flexural test are highly used so splitting test is used in a uh, is used in cylindrical specimen it is used in cylindrical specimen of 15 centimeter diameter and 30 centimeter height so firstly or uh, so firstly a uh, cylindrical specimen is a uh, yes, cylindrical specimen is a uh, design and uh, uniaxial and and uh, and tensile forces are applied and not not uniaxial but tensile forces but tensile forces are applied but tensile uh, but tensile forces are applied at the uh, tensile forces are applied tensile forces are applied in such way tensile forces are applied uh, but tensile forces are applied in such a in, in such a way to the concrete specimen and at the certain point where it fills or where it ruptures into two parts uh, and, and and certain point where uh, where cylindrical specimen fills or ruptures into two parts is uh, gives the value of its tensile strength so next is modular uh, is flexular tension uh, is no, is known as 
is known as flex flexor tension which we'll be talking in our further videos which we'll talk in our further videos not now so now we basically talked about compressive strength and tensile strength now we'll be talking about uh, now we'll be talking about relationship now we'll be talking about relationship between relationships now we'll be talking about relationship between compressive and tensile strength so what is the relationship between compressive and tensile strength both the compressive and tensile strength are directly proportional to uh, are directly proportional to each other and so we, so we have basically three types of so as we talked we have three types of tensile forces direct splitting and flexural all of these are, are all of these are proportional to the square root all of these are proportional to the square root of the compressive strength uh, comp compressive uh, compressive uh, compressive, uh, compressive strength and uh, and we'll be talking about resistance here so firstly we have the so firstly we have direct tensile strength direct tensile strength so direct tensile strength equals to 0 0.35 under root of compressive strength and splitting tensile test split split tensile strength equals to 0 0.50 of square root of compressive strength and flexular and flexular tensile strength equals to 0.64 of root over fc and all the value of compressive strength are measured in mpa megapascals are measured in megapascals next we'll be talking so now we have completed tensile strength and compressive st tensile strength and compressive strength these two are the these two are the most important strength of any concrete uh, are, are of any concrete now we'll be talking about other 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 uh, other uh, other strength of concrete which are which are of which are which are also of great importance so in third number we have shear strength so we have shear strength so basically shear is defined as the sliding forces sliding or tangential forces so if this is any concrete specimen and these are the sliding forces applied uh, applied applied against this so basically shear strength is the measure of resistance of any concrete specimen against such forces against such forces next we'll be talking about uh, after shear strength we'll be talking about bond strength so what is bond strength bond strength bond strength is defined as the measure of measure of effectiveness measure of is defined as the measure of effectiveness of grip between steel and concrete so as uh, so as we discussed earlier so as we discussed earlier compressive strength compressive strength of concrete is much higher than its uh, tensile strength so in order to increase the tensile strength in order to, in order to increase the increase the tensile strength of uh, of any concrete specimen steel steel rods or steel rod steel rods or reinforcements Re steel rods or steel rods or reinforcements or reverse are used and the measure of e and the measure of effectiveness of grip and the measure of effectiveness of grip thus uh, the specimen has the specimen the specimen the concrete specimen has with uh, with uh, with the steel or reinforcements or rebar is defined as it is defined as the bond strength uh, defined as the bond strength so, uh, the, so the term we use rcc reinforced concrete cement or just reinforced concrete Re reinforced concrete is, is a is a combination of steel and steel and concrete and if we measure the effectiveness of this concrete uh, concrete or or the grip between the steel and concrete uh, it is the it is an example uh, it it gives uh, it gives the value of bond strength so basically uh, so so basically in order to, uh, so basically an example of bond strength is rcc next we'll be talking about impact strength in five number in number five we have impact strength so what is impact strength so as uh, so as as by the definition so as by as by our definition impact is a sudden or excessive sudden or excessive or sudden or excessive or shock shock or high amount of force which uh, high amount of high amount of force which applies at a short interval of time which applies at a short interval of time and the measure of resistance and the measure of resistance of on, of concrete against such type of forces the measurement of resistance of concrete against such type of forces against such types of forces is is impact strength is impact strength so 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 what is the use of uh, impact strength and why it is uh, important impact uh, impact strength is of importance while is of is of is of importance in driving 
ease of importance in a uh, ease of importance in driving concrete piles is a uh, easy easy uh, ease of importance in driving concrete piles in uh, foundations in foundation and it is of great importance and, and it is of great importance and, and it is of great importance when accidental and it is of great importance when accidental impact is possible is impossible is impossible so as uh, so uh, so as previously uh, so as in uh, so just uh, so just before we talk about the relationship between uh, tensile strength and compressive compressive strength but uh, compressive 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 strength but their uh, comp compressive strength and uh, due to s and, uh, and due to some recent uh, resources it has been found that impact strength is also related to impact strength is also re related to it's also related to compressive strength and impact strength is uh, equal to is equal to about 0 0.50 to about 0 0.5 up to 0 0.75 times of compressive strength so we can basically say impact strength is equal to about 50 percent or 75 percent of compressive strength so uh, compressive strength so uh, compressive strength so in our last we have fatigue strength fatigue strength so what is fatigue fatigue is defined as the repeated cycle of loads so fatigue is simply defined as the repeated cycle of loads and the measure of resistance of concrete measure of resistance of, of, of concrete against cyclic or repeated cyclic or repeated loads is called as fatigue strength fatigue strength is of great importance as as uh, as in many concrete specimen which we use in our house or the roof or, or the roof or the slab are continuously exposed to the repeated cycle of loads of our furniture dead loads live loads etc and it is of great importance so basically in this lecture we, t we talked about six different types of concrete concrete strength and now and, and in our next lecture video we'll be talking about what are the factors affecting the strength of uh, what are the factors affecting the strength of concrete till then you can like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you